Hey everyone, Brian here, your honest mechanic. Today's topic, can you mix coolant and water in your vehicle's cooling system? Short answer, yes, with some caveats. Your engine produces a lot of heat from combustion and friction. Without a proper cooling system using a water and coolant mix, your engine would overheat in minutes. Coolant is essential for two reasons. Its ability to remove more heat than just water, and its anti-corrosion properties that protect the inside of your engine and radiator. So what's the best coolant and water mix to put in your cooling system? Most vehicles call for a 50 50 mix, 50% 50 premixed coolant to 50% distilled or deionized water. Now I know some of you are going to be tempted to use tap water because it's convenient. Don't do it. Here's why. Tap water contains minerals and contaminants like calcium, magnesium, chlorine, and other dissolved solids. Over years of use, these minerals leave lime, scale, and corrosion inside your engine and radiator. It can severely shorten the life of your cooling components. Spend the couple bucks on a jug of distilled or deionized water rather than using tap. Your engine will thank you. Always check your owner's manual for your vehicle manufacturer's specific recommendation on coolant type and water-to-coolant ratio. Most modern vehicles use ethylene glycol coolant, also known as the green stuff. Don't mix coolant types or colors unless explicitly stated by your manufacturer, as they might not be compatible. Whenever servicing your cooling system, don't just top it off with straight water or straight coolant if the levels are a little low. That throws off the ideal balance. Always premix a fresh batch in the correct ratio before filling your radiator. An important safety reminder when dealing with coolants. Most are toxic if ingested, so keep it away from pets and kids. Be sure to store and dispose of old coolant properly, too. How often should I change my coolant? Conventional coolant typically lasts about 3 years or 50,000 miles in most vehicles. After that, it begins to lose its anti-corrosion abilities. Check your owner's manual for specifics intervals. Some models may vary. What about alternative coolants? There are newer organic acid technology or OAT coolants starting to replace traditional ethylene glycol fluids. They last longer, typically 5 years or 100,000 miles. Make sure to only use the factory-approved fluid for your vehicle, whether that's OE Green or the newer OAT Red-Pink coolant. Don't mix them. And a final reminder again, regardless of what color or type of coolant your vehicle takes, always mix it with distilled or deionized water only at a 50-50 ratio. That will ensure peak protection against overheating and corrosion. If you found this overview on Coolant Basics helpful, hit that thumbs up button. Drop your coolant questions in the comments and consider subscribing to the Honest Mechanic channel for more handy auto advice. Until next time.